At this time, we would like to honor our team of tradition. The 2006 Seven men's golf team finished second overall at the Northeast Athletic Conference Championship, placing three golfers in the top 10, including Cliff Mangle, who finished second. The team went on to be the first to qualify for the NCAA Division III Men's Golf Championship. I guess the most rewarding thing for me now is those guys stay close together. They communicate together, they talk together, they communicate with me, it's, it's fabulous. I'm not a big email person or text person, but they still stay in touch with me, you know? And it, it makes me feel good when, like next year's team, if they make it to the Nationals, they'll come back and wanna talk to them, tell them their experience, what it was like. We did that. We did that this year with Justin Hughes. We did it 2012-13, uh, the whole team came back to my house and, and talked to the new guys. You know, so that, that's really something. They care about the program. What was special about this team is they're high academic student athletes. They were not playing on campus. And making the NCAA golf championships, which is very difficult, there are only 32 teams at that time that made the NCAA tournament. And really the representative of the NEAC, which was a new conference, it was really a statement to the conference that we deserve to be there. And the scores were, are the scores. The beauty of golf is you compete against the course and it doesn't matter what conference you're in. They didn't play in 20 tournaments. They didn't travel to North Carolina, to Virginia. We played local one day tournaments and we did okay. We did fine, but we didn't do all that traveling. And we didn't have the equipment, the attire, the golf attire, to look nice. Uh, where the guys this year and the girls, the last couple of years, we've had it. And it makes a difference. They feel better about themselves. That was a great group, a great group. Uh, they had a lot of ability. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind, a lot of ability. Uh, and we showed it at the, at the tournament. This was one of the pioneer teams for our NCAA tournament experience. And when we got there, they actually played really well. It's not simply because we got an, AC, an NCAA tournament appearance because we won in a weak league. Our league was not a strong league initially. However, the performance that they did at the championships was justifiable that they belong there. It is my honor to welcome the head coach of the 2006-07 men's golf team, Chris Raymer. I want to thank everybody for coming. I really appreciate this. Uh, I feel like I had a girl for basketball, I had a guy for uh, golf, and now I got a team for golf. I feel very lucky. Uh, and there's one thing about all of them. They had great grades, great motivation to work hard. I took notes at our uh, alumni uh, golf tournament yesterday so I could tell you about them. Uh, the nicest thing about this group, they do stay close together. There was, we didn't even have a team when we started. We started in 2005 when our a pro left and Coach Adams and myself, and I was the assistant AD then, we were talking about canceling golf because we wanted a teaching pro. And I'm not. I'm a person who plays with a hundred. So I'm not a very good teacher in golf. But you don't have to be a good teacher to get a good program, okay? Uh, when we started in 2007, I had two boys. I had Steve Watts, who came back after being out a year to raise money, and I had Kevin Motes, a sophomore. That's it. Matt Lucart came into my office, knocked on the door, him and Jimmy, 
said, Coach Raymer, can we talk to you? I said, sure, no problem. Come on in, sit down. They said, what do we have to do to try out for the team? I said, here's a piece of paper. Put your name, information, you're on the team. <laughs> so I got up to four, which is pretty good, you know? But we needed five. So then I got this other boy coming in, knocking on the door, wants to play golf. He played baseball. Now, if you know anything about baseball guys and golf guys, they're a little different. And I said, Brett, do you have clubs? Got clubs, coach. And I'm different than the other guys on baseball. I said, fill it out, you're on the team. <laughs> So we're up to six. And finally I had a boy transfer, transfer from Maryland, uh, uh, Josh Pelta. He can't be here, he had a hip replacement October the 6th. He's a assistant pro out in Arizona. But anyhow, he came in, University of Maryland. I'm thinking, I got a, I got a guy coming in, he's good, he's good. He's a century player. If you know what that means, he's not very good. But he was good for the team. <laughs> You know, uh, I just want to give you a little bit about the guys. Um, Kevin Moats, you know, Kevin Moats, who is standing beside me, uh, went to Georgetown Medical, uh, graduated number one. He's at Hopkins right now as a doctor. He wrote me a nice little note and everything. He couldn't come because he's on call. He's a rookie, so he can't take off. Okay, uh, Matt Lucart is there. He is in sales with General Electric. Steve Watts is the vice president for sales for Dunbar. Okay, uh, they're all, and Brett Mitchell, who is here, works for IT with the state government and the federal government for contracts. So these guys, and I say that, they're what I want. They graduated in four years. The retention's there. Their academics are way above three. I've been to three of their weddings, and I'm going to one this summer for Matt. I stay close to those guys. They're mine. They're my kids, okay? And I believe in that. I want to thank you for putting this team in. I know they deserve it. I'll tell you, we had a boy leading at the Nationals, Steve Watts. He was winning with three holes to go. And on number 16, he put it out of bounds. I, I go up to him, I say, listen, just take the drop and punch it. There's water down there. Can't, coach, I gotta go for the green. He put it right in the water, ended up with an 80, and missed the cut by one. Missed the cut for the Nationals. So that was pretty good. But again, thank you so much, and uh, I appreciate this.